Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless God. Well, we're excited to be back with you once more again here at Dominion Life Worship Center and Faith in Christ Network. Amen. Where Amen. the Word of God is going uh, throughout the world. Amen. With power and might. Uh, causing people's lives to be transformed into the image and likeness of God's Son, Jesus Christ. And you're helping us to do that. Yes. Amen. As you are partnering with us and uh, hit the subscribe button, the comment, the share, the like. Um, you're assisting us to do uh, what God has called us to do. Amen. You're working alongside. You're part of this, uh, uh, this uh, pre presenting the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout the world. All right. Well, we're going to uh, get ready to go into our teaching. We're still talking about... Uh, dealing with the uh, book of Ephesians, uh, the first chapter, where we're looking at right now that first statement that, that Paul wrote to the church of, of Ephesus and what he was calling, uh, calling them to understand their uh, uh, role as saints uh, in, in, in the body of Christ, uh, in the kingdom of God, uh, here in the earth realm, and how important that their role is to the church. Okay, well, we're going to pray, and then we'll get ready to go into the teaching. Father God, we just thank, thank you, you for the privilege to be in your presence yes, and in your word. Yes, we are. Father, we come with great joy. Hallelujah. Great joy. <laughs> because we know that our spirits are going yes. to be quickened. Our souls are going to be refreshed. Yes, Father And our God. minds are going to be renewed. We are mm. going to be empowered Hallelujah. by your word and your Glory spirit. Empowered by your word and your spirit yes, to do God. all that your word tells us yes, to do. Yes. To bring you glory and honor in how we live publicly and privately. privately. In Jesus' Jesus name, name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, we're going to get into this uh, uh, powerful teaching this evening. My lovely wife is going to give you the, the key thoughts that we're getting ready to uh, um, teach from in this, in this teaching. Amen. We'll continue teaching. All right, then. All right. Hallelujah. Our key thought. Mm. Amen. Glory mm. to God. Our computer person is pulling it up. Just yeah, bear just with, bear us. with yeah, us. For just for a few minutes. Amen. It's all, it's all good. There all right. Go. Key, thought. key thought. Mm -hmm. Saints refers to born again believers. Mm -hmm. All believers are holy. That is, set apart or sanctified for God's purpose. Mm. Key thought again, mm -hmm. saints refers to born again believers. All believers are holy, mm. that is set apart mm -hmm. or sanctified for God's purpose. Hallelujah. Amen. God's That's a privilege. Yeah, Amen. Sanctified for God's purpose. For God's purpose to be Amen. used by him. That's good. That's good. To Amen. magnify him, him. to enlarge Amen. him in That's the right. earth. That's Amen. right. That's right. Amen. All right. Saints are God's people who are faithful, loyal, and steadfast in Jesus Christ. Mm, Again, saints good. are God's people who are faithful, mm -hmm. loyal, and steadfast in Christ Jesus. Mm. That means they continue. Mm. They continue. They don't yeah, stop. They right. don't pause. They continue. Tended. No matter what comes that's up, it. they are going to be found, found. with having faith intact mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus. That's They're it. going to be found with having faith in the redemptive that's work right. of Christ. Christ. Faith in the blood of Christ. Faith in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. That's God. Glory to God. And they're going to be loyal st and, and steadfast. Yes. You know, it's, it's, Sudan, it's uh, very difficult uh, uh, to find a person that's committed to being loyal, you know, because uh, uh, and but we can't do that uh, without being uh, submitted to God's will and purpose for our life. We just can't. That's what. It, once you get you submit to God's will and purpose for your life, then you can walk in uh, the spirit of loyalty toward God. And once you make a decision to do that, then the Holy Spirit comes right. to assist you, you in carrying out that decision. decision. Yes. yes. He partners yeah, with right. you yeah. to make sure that that, that that decision that you made right. before God right. is manifested. Right. It's maintained. Mm. It's upheld. It's mm. kept. Kept. Mm. Yes. He'll work, you, he'll work with us till it's finished. Complete. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. All right, we're going to look at uh, some, some scriptures here. Now, these scriptures we're dealing with is, a, is to help support the reality of, uh, of uh, saints in the church. Yes, yes. That it is God's will for us to live a sanctified life Hallelujah. in the church, that it can be manifested throughout the earth realm. All right, we're going to look at uh, Philippians, the fourth chapter. I'm going to read the uh, 
this chapter, this verse, and my lovely wife will read the uh, next uh, verse of Scripture we're going to be working with. All right, Philippians, the fourth chapter, and the 21st verse, reading from the Amplified Version of the Bible. Now, these scriptures are designed to edify our understanding about being saints of the Most High God. Yes, yes. To edify, yes. build up our understanding of being saints of the Most High God. Yeah. Remember me to every saint in Christ Jesus. Now, look at what Paul is writing to the church of uh, Philippi, and he's telling them in his letter, he's instructing them, he's appealing to them. Uh, he's saying, uh, remember me to yes. every saint in Christ Jesus. So every saint is in Christ Jesus, yes, and yes. every person in Christ Jesus is a saint, yes. a saint. Yes. You got into Christ Jesus by being set apart and sanctified for God's will and purpose in our lives yes. through Jesus Christ. Yes. We're saints. He says, the brothers who are with me greet you. Amen. And those brothers are saints too. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> they are saints too. Amen. Saints stick together. Mm. They stick together. They unify themselves not to just be unifying themselves and just not for the sti sticking together, but for God's will and purpose mm -hmm. to be manifested in the earth realm, mm -hmm. in and the also, church. And also to keep each other uh, built up, Duh, right, strengthened, right. encouraged right, right. in their faith in, in Christ Jesus. Right. Because we live in, in a world that is... Uh, 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 governed by Satan, that's right. influenced by Satan. Satan, and so we need the strength. That's right. Of our brothers, of and, brothers sisters, and sisters, of our saints in right, Christ. Right, right, right. And that's you want to you want to make sure that you connect yourself with other believers that yes. believe that they're saints of the Most High God. Yes. That they believe that uh, through Christ. Uh, we can do all things that strengthen us. Yes, and they demonstrate it by the life that by they by the life that they live. Live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They have a they have a, a steady walk That's of right. faith in That's Christ right. Jesus. That's right. It's right. demonstrated. Right. Yeah. There is no weakness in, in their um, their behavior, Amen. Or their conduct. Amen. All right. Uh, some footnotes on that for, uh, Philippians the, the uh, fourth chapter and the twenty first verse is this here: Is it every born again believer, yes. saint? Every born again believer, parenthesis, saint, has been reborn from above. Now, this is how you know what a saint is. Amen. It's not just a person that's attending church. It's not just a person that's, you know, that you, you got some type of camaraderie with you like and stuff like that. Those things are well and good, but this is what a saint is. It's, if a saint is a very distinguished type of person. You know the difference between. It says, every born again believer, every born again, been, been, Every born again believer is a saint and has been reborn from above, Amen. spiritually transformed, yes, that's it. renewed, mm. made, get this here, made holy mm. and set apart for God's purpose. Amen. Made holy. We're not making ourselves holy. We've been made holy. Yes, hallelujah. We've been made holy by, the, by uh, obeying the word of God <coughs> and yielding ourselves to the work of of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Spirit does the work of sanctification in yes, us. Yes. The Word of God, I mean, the, the, the Holy Spirit does the work of sanctification in us, measured by, uh, 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 by the amount of the Word of God that we have in us. God can sanctify us by the Word that we have in us. Mm -hmm. because by, by, by the washing. The washing. Yes. The washing and the renewing, the, yes. the cleansing, yes. the purging, yes. the Word. Amen. Amen. So that's what that's what we get to. That's what the that's what the that's what the Holy Spirit works up works on. It works through the power of God's word that we got in us. No word in us. Uh, uh, we can't expect to be sanctified and 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 be holy before God. Uh, so that's what we really want to understand. You, you have anything? No. Yeah. So, okay. Good. Yeah. So that's what you what you want to do is um, it, uh, really get a good understanding about what it means to be a saint. Of the Most High God, Amen. You are uh, you're a born again believer. Yes, that's the first thing. You're Amen. reborn from above. Yes, you're spiritually trans spiritually transformed. Mm -hmm. You're renewed. You you and you're made holy and set apart for God's purpose. Amen. Those are the earmarks of a saint. All right, let's look at Psalm the the thirty seventh chapter and the twenty first twenty eighth verse. My lovely wife is going to read that scripture for us and elaborate on that. Amen. The word of God says, for the Lord mm -hmm. loves justice. Mm, that's powerful. Though. Amen. He loves justice. Amen. Righteousness. 
Yes. And does not forsake his saints. Mm -hmm. Ooh, glory to God. Does not forsake his, his saints. saints. He won't do it. Amen. No, just glory won't. to God. He will not do mm -hmm. it. No. They are preserved forever. Yes, yes. Forever. Mm. That means for all times. No That's matter it. what comes That's up, it. no matter what this government does, does. saints are going to be, be preserved. preserved. Amen. That's it forever. By the Lord. That's it. But the descendants of the wicked shall be cut, cut off. off. That's, their, that's their end. They're going to be it. cut off. That's it. So in other words, Suda, there's a difference between the wicked and the saints. Wicked people live wicked lifestyles. They're governed by the spirit of wickedness. They're governed by Satan. Satan, he wants to separate us and set us apart away from God. But the, the work of the Holy Spirit uh, sets us and separates us uh, uh, apart from for God, yes. for him, not against him. Amen. Not against him. Uh, he, the Holy Spirit assures us that we can live a, a, a sanctified yes, yes. life here in this earth realm. Yes, in this earth. In Amen. this earth realm. In, in this yeah, earth. Yeah. This teaching is for this, this earth. earth. That's Amen. right. That's good. It's for this what earth. Is, it's for this side, side of, of heaven. heaven. Amen. Yeah, that's what the teaching it's is for. It's for here yeah. and now. Yeah. We, 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 we don't need this for, for, for when we enter into eternity. Eternity, no. eternity is well taken, taken care, care of. Taken care of. It is. This it is. teaching is for here and right, now. Right, that's it. It comes from eternity for now. Yes. It comes from eternity. The word of God comes from the heavenlies for now. Yes. For, yes. To empower us to live a heavenly life here in the earth. Yes, right. to prepare us yeah. for entering into, into, into eternity. eternity. Yeah, uh, heaven. Yeah, we'll, yes. how you want to yes. call it. Amen. Amen. So that's what you re re really want to understand. For, for the Lord loves justice. That yes. Justice is just like righteousness. Yes. It's, it's, it's God's judgment. Over everything, God is God is is, is he's fair. Uh, he's uh, all the time. All the time. All the time. Yeah. There's he's there's n there's never any unfairness. That's in right. him. There can't be. be. No, no. Yeah. And he doesn't show favoritism. Never. He never does. He uh, he presents the opportunity to everybody, and who whosoever will uh, give themselves to the opportunity of being called a saint of God, yes. whoever give themselves the opportunity to allow God to separate them from this world's mm -hmm. way of thinking, this world's way of living, yes. the behaviors of this world. God desired to separate us from that. Mm -hmm. And he does it through making us, uh, be, be, making us become saints of the Most High God. Yes. Whoever saints. makes the decision to be willing and obedient. obedient. That's it. Yes. Yeah, that's it. We'll make a decision to be willing and obedient. Yes. Amen. And, I, and, and this is something that we get ready to close. It is never God's will for us to be cut off from God. No, no. See, in the Bible reveals that, that the wicked are cut off, mm -hmm. not because God cut them mm -hmm. off, but because our rejection mm -hmm. of being s s called out yes. of this world mm -hmm. system, this world way of doing things. That's, that, uh, that calls us to be separated from God. Because in God's presence, there is no wickedness. Amen. Wickedness cannot live in the presence of God. Mm. Saints can. Yeah. Saints can. Mm. Those that are willing to commit themselves to being uh, separated for God's will and purpose for their life. So I want to encourage you to, to really uh, uh, grab hold to this here teaching Amen. and begin to be able to, to walk. This is not a religious teaching. This is a teaching that's geared to helping you to walk in the fullness of being, uh, walk in the fullness of understanding your uh, call as yes. being a saint of the Most High God. Mm -hmm. And to assist you with walking worthy, worthy of that call. Worthy of that call. Yeah, walking that's worthy it. Yeah, of we're that gonna look call. at that in here about as we go on this teaching. Amen. That it, it's that's a worthy call yes. upon our lives to be yes. a saint yes. of the living God, to be to. to Acknowledge that he's called us out yes. of sin. Yes, out of darkness. Out of darkness. Yes. Man, that's that's something that, that it's, it's not anything that we need to that we need to approach lightly. Amen. We need to go for this here and give it all we got. And go home. And go home. Amen. And go home. Yes. And go home. Amen. 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 Hallelujah.
So that's what we want to encourage Amen. you to do. Uh, and that's what that's what saints do. But they go hard. Go hard. They Amen. go hard for they the things hard. of God. You look at the book of Acts. They, 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 they was going hard. They was going hard. Amen. They was going hard. They was going up against hard things, but they was uh, taking those hard things. They was taking them with, with hardness. They was yes. they was built to, was to endure. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They, they were steadfast. Steadfast, yes. unmovable, always yes. abounding in the work of the Lord. Yes, so I want to encourage you to, 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 to step into that 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 call of being a saint of the Most High God. Don't allow religion to, to back you down, Alpha. And don't accept new age thinking mm. about who you are. Mm, amen. You are a, a saint of the Most High God. Yes, yes. You've been called out. You've been uh, separated yes. from, the, from this world's way of living. Yes. You yes. live differently. You, 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 you are strength to your brother and sister. Yes. You live you didn't, differently, you act differently, differently you respond, respond differently. differently, you talk differently. Yes, yes. You talk differently. You're different. You're different. You're peculiar. Amen. You are. Yeah. Amen. Saints don't cuss. Mm. They don't get drunk. Mm. Saints don't commit a, a, a adultery and, and they're not homemongers and fornicators. I don't care what you may be seeing going on, people perpetrating, but they, they, they're not living up on the, the reality that they are saints of God. They want to be they're, they're wannabes. Mm. They're, not, they're not committed to that. So we want to encourage you to, to be committed. Don't, 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 don't be a wannabe. Be a bee. Be, a, be a, 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 an original saint of the Most High God. Amen? Amen. So well, we are, want to let you know we uh, appreciate you, and yes. we're going to pray, and we're going to just uh, believe God that you are ready to experience all that God has for you as a saint. Of, of God. Amen. All right. We want to encourage you to come out and be a part of our service. Mm -hmm. uh, next Sunday, amen, uh, at March 17th, we're having a discipleship training that will start at 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. It'll be from 2 to. That's all right. Go ahead and say it. What, what 2 to 3. It's not next week, but we'll go ahead. March 17th? Yeah. That's next week. Yeah. We've already did it. That's all right. We, we just we just getting things in order, sending them in order. That's right. Okay. That, that, all right. Yeah. So so uh, but uh, we want to encourage you to come out. We have, what we do we have a di discipleship class every, every third, third Sunday yes. of the month. That's what she's inviting you to. Yes. Yes. So every we want to encourage you to come out and be a part of these these exciting discipleship class. It'll empower you by being a saint of God. Also. Yes. It starts mm -hmm. at two o'clock and mm -hmm. it runs from two to three. No later than three thirty. Yes. And we we will we serve a light brunch. So. Yeah. Every third Sunday. Sunday. All right. Amen. All right. We're well, <laughs> expecting you to be here, and God is expecting you to be here. Amen. But let's pray now. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you right now that Hallelujah. your word has went forth, Father God, with accuracy, yes. accuracy with accuracy, uh, boldness, and clarity, yes. Father God. And you've been glorified in this, Father God. We believe today, Father God, that people are uh, understanding is being enlightened yes. about being a saint of the Most High God. They're yielding to allow you, Father God, yes. to call them out to live a separated life unto you. They're willing to allow you to call them out, call them out of the kingdom of darkness yes, yes. and live a separated life unto you. They submit themselves to you. You've given them the power to do it. And they yield to your power, working in them right now. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, we want to uh, encourage you to, to uh, uh, just Continue to, to keep that mindset that, that uh, you are a saint of the Most High God. You're holy yes. and peculiar people. Yes. Your behavior has been changed. Yes. You're born again, reborn from above. Yes. You've been tr transformed, spiritually transformed to God. from the inside out. And you are, are walking in the favor of God in every area of your life. Hallelujah. As we say here all the time at Dominion Life Worship Center, Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless God. Yes. Thank you for joining us. Okay, now and I, I, allow I, I, me the seed of the word of God to strengthen and encourage you. Our heart's desire is to equip you with the word of God so that you will successfully deal with every challenge that comes up against you in your life in Christ. We love you. And remember, Jesus is Lord. We look forward to seeing you next time here on Faith in Christ Network.